Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to World of Warcraft. My name is Samphoria. We are here on our druid. We are in Ashenvale. We finally made it. Um, just after the confusion of the last episode, I had a quick look and wrote down the dungeons and I've sorted it all out. So the one that we didn't do that we missed was Dead Mines. Um, we've done Rage Fire Chasm, Shadowfin Keep, Wailing Caverns, and the next two that we can do are Black Fathom Deeps and Stormwind Stockade. Um, I was queuing for those, but seeing as we got here first, I thought we would come here and do some questing, and then we'll get on with those dungeons. So, have you come to help us fight back against the forces of the Horde? Every blade and spell will be needed. Uh, kill any ten Horde at Bathran's Haunt. Collect eight Bathran hair. Ooh, we would only collect their hair. That's a little bit weird. And it's spelt hair like hair, not like a rabbit hair. Like, hair on your head, hair. <laughs> and then we've got our ancient over here, Bathran. And apparently I also have post. Sorry if you heard that. Obtain a bottle of wildfire and throw it at Bathran's corpse to burn it. Oh, he's like a ghost of himself. Oh. Again, the good thing about being a cat and being a a night elf druid as we can um, go invisible which is always nice although we are pretty powerful over here actually I'm impressed by how much damage we're doing I haven't read the recent um, like change logs or anything so I don't know patch notes that's what they're called so I don't know, I don't think anything's changed for us. Like, not drastically. I know we are a couple levels higher than what we need to be for here. These guys are like level 20, 21, but... I'm not complaining. It's the only thing you got to really watch out for. They put this green goop over here. Why? Oh, it's Bathran's hair. Okay, Bathran's the ancient, so his hair is technically leaves. Now I understand. I really didn't get it. Like, what do you mean, hair? Why is hair and leaves? Now I get it. Because he's a tree. <laughs> well, he's an ancient, but he's a tree. An ancient protector. Okay. Collect this. So we need two more hair, and we need to kill two more... Um... Board. There you go, there's another one. Them, and there's you. Hello, sir. Forsaken herd list. Oh, you're not a sir, you're a lady. Whoops, sorry. Okay, so now what we need to do is go and grab that moon fire stuff. So we'll go in sneaker sneaker mode. Um, what I normally would do is kind of fight my way over here rather than sneaking, but it's okay. And then I'll kill you. You can throw your green goat meal you want. There is the... Oh! There's that crazy woman who's trying to attack us. <laughs> Pick up those things. Right, okay. Let's collect the wildfire. Go into super sleuth mode again. Super sleuth. I'm a cat ninja. Super sleuth. <laughs> okay, we'll kill this guy. Just so that he doesn't attack us while we do this. Kill this dude and then... Oh, sorry. Patootie. Right, let's sneak our way out of here. There is so much stuff that I end up like just being able to super sleuth past when I'm, uh, when I'm like this. When I'm a pussycat. I love it. I really do miss it when I'm playing other characters. And one thing that I always forget and it drives me insane is that um, when I'm not on my demon hunter I always try and double jump <laughs> and it doesn't work okay so you've held me return to the ground Samkai now my hair will cease to sprout for these creatures better yet I will be regrown all the sooner so they must have been using his hair um, for some kind of magic I assume so we'll head on over here and we've completed all these quests too. Sentinel, please. 
Job well done, Druid. If you're any indication of the quality of the Night Elf adventurers we're going to be seeing more of, we should have this war against the Orcs and their horde taken care of faster than expected. Oh, well, you're welcome. Speak with Talon at the Black Fathom Camp in Athen Ashenvale. So we've got a new ability, Entangling Roots. That's always fun. Have you gathered the hair? Yes, I have. Oh, you have the hair. This is a good first step. There are other ingredients that we still need, but the hair of the fallen ancient could well be the most important. Deliver the bag of Bathron's hair to Orendil Broadleaf in Maester's Post in Ashenvale. For sure! So these are two quests that are like completely opposite each other in direction, but we'll go this way first. Go in travel form. So let's just have a quick look. Oh, we've got... Yeah, none of this is worth anything to us apart from... I want to say scrap value, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Apart from the value of what it actually is. Okay, so, right. Let's go ahead and uh, meet this guy. Okay, so we're here. Um, the entrance to the Black Fathom Deeps dungeon is actually, like, just over there. Can I assist you? Goddess, watch over Collect you. ten ancient statuettes. We've also got a flight path, which is nice. Naga of the Strand. Slay any 15 Rastel Naga at the Zoram Strand. We've got Black Fathom Deep Speak with Sentinel Alluin. To do that one, we're actually going to have to queue for the dungeon, I believe. Um, we can just pop in there and um, speak to her, but a lot of things will attack us on the way in. So it's just easier to queue for the dungeon and we can complete that while we're in there. I think it's one of the quests where, if you didn't know probably about dungeons, it's quite a nice way for you to realise that there are dungeons, if that makes sense. Need to get you doing them. I think I just have to kill these guys. Yeah, I do. And then we need to collect the little statues. So how are you guys doing? I hope you're having a great, great weekend. I think this is going out on Sunday. Um, I'm trying to do a few more episodes of these. I know it's quite a slow series, we're not like, I'm not trying to level super fast or anything like that, so I hope you guys don't mind that. Um, but I wanted it to be a real relaxed playthrough of our because I'm learning how to play this game as much as anybody else is. Like, I'm not playing this and doing a playthrough as if I'm like, you know, I know everything about WoW or as if I've been playing it for a long time and I know what I'm talking about because I've made it very clear that I don't. Um, and I, I want to take it slow and learn too. Like, I play a lot of different characters, but it doesn't really mean I know what I'm doing. And I want it to be a way for you guys, if you want to learn, um, you could play along too. Or it might help, you know, if I find some tips or tricks that I pick up, I'll let you guys know and you can it maybe help you out too. And that's the kind of thing I want. And if anybody has any help, you know, any anything that I say that is wrong or anything that... Um, you know, I explain that doesn't quite work or I get something confused and things like that, please, please let me know in the comments. Like, I don't mind. I'd rather somebody put me straight and was like, actually, Sam, that power doesn't do that. Or actually, that's not where those Nagas came from. Or, you know, that kind of thing. Um, I love it because I love learning about it. Um, it's not ever anything, as long as you obviously do it in a nice way, not, you're an idiot! Um, <laughs> then I, I really have no... You know, I want to. I don't want to know when I'm saying things wrong because I don't want to give you guys any information that isn't correct. You know, especially if you're going to be playing. And I know for a lot of people that have probably played a long time, it's probably really frustrating watching me play because you're like, this woman has no idea what she's doing. And for that, I apologise. But you know, we've all got to start somewhere. And I think that with a lot of games, like, um, I see all the time people moaning like, oh, you don't know how to do this, you don't know how to do that, and it's like, well. Yeah, of course not. It's the first time I've ever played this game. You don't start playing a game knowing how to be an expert in it or knowing everything about the game. And that's what I love about games is, you know, learning and finding out things for yourself or, you know, learning things from other people and just discovering the game. Because you can never get that back. That first playthrough of a game, you can never, you know, you never can play a game for the first time again. Like the same game. You can't play it for the first time twice. Um, so I always like to just try and go into it and just learn and I hope that comes through in the videos, I really do. 
but yeah anyway enough of me rambling on basically if I don't know what I'm talking about please tell me <laughs> that's quite a few you've found I thank you Sankai the old city of Zoram holds many secrets and these statuettes may be the key to many of them obtain the ring of Zoram well done Sankai your actions in the Zoram strand against the Naga are commendable I know your feat was not easily accomplished, for the strength and guile of the Naga is well known to the Night Elves. We know this, for we share a history with them. The Naga are cursed high-born Night Elves. Ten thousand years ago, Queen Ashara made a pact of desperation with the Old Gods to save her surviving people from a watery grave. The Naga are the result of that pact. Yeah, well. I didn't know that. See, it seems like that. See, you learn stuff all the time. I didn't know that Naga were old Night Elves, like high Night Elves. That's really interesting. Awesome. Right, okay, so we need to go and get this ring of Zoram from the lady over here on this island. Um, thankfully for us, we can go into Super Sleuth and um, ninja our way over there without having to fight absolutely everything. Now, I did want to do some more pet battle videos. However, they are just going to be like the other one until we get to the point where we're high enough level to fight um the pet battle masters i think they're called like the battle masters or whatever the pet battle trainers um because as i said in the other video um once you've done them on like one account you can't do them again uh there's like a, a set of them you have to do and they keep getting harder and harder and once you've done so many you can't do them so we are up to Stephen Lisbon. See, it's a count-wide alliance. So I think if I made a Horde character, I could do all the Horde ones, but I can't do the alliance ones again, the ones that I've already done. So until we get um, pets high enough level for Stephen Lisbon, we're not going to be able to do those. However, I know I haven't done a lot of pet battling, so he's, his pets are probably not going to be very high. And once that happens, we'll do a few videos of us just going around and um, doing them all. I might wait until we can, like... Um, might wait until we're a bit higher level so we can get around a bit faster or what would be better is if we did it when we could fly because that would be super helpful but that means waiting until we're level 60 and i don't know if i want to wait that long but we'll see we're not going to do any professions until we get that far the only profession that we've done is fishing and that's because we were doing it at the dark moon fair so the fish we've, our fishing's like 370 something i think it's like 376 um and that's just because of doing the Dark Moon Fair. I did want to do... There is a guide on Wowhead. I'll put the link in the description if I remember. If not, just comment and I'll put it in. Um, there's guides on Wowhead where you kind of get your fishing and your cooking up together, which is what I wanted to do. I've not done that before, but it sounded like something that would be, you know, very logical to do. Um, you fish stuff up and then you cook them. So it's doing them both together. Uh, but like I say, because we did the Dark Moon Fair and we were catching all the fish to get enough to get the mountain stuff um we've ended up with like a really high fishing level and obviously no cooking level so we could still do that we're not it wouldn't level up our fishing but we could still do it and i could show you the guide and how you would do it because why not um but yeah that's not going to be something that we do until we are flying just because it makes it a lot lot easier a lot easier <laughs> especially as a druid because we have a flight form Ooh. okay so there's the ring you found the ring thank you Sankai please take this as payment and know that your deeds today will remain forever in my memory thanks what did he give us what did he give us robes of antiquity let's have a look oh they're pretty snazzy not something that we're gonna wear um but hey ho so let's repair all our items and we are just gonna quickly sell okay he doesn't want that fine sell all this rubbish that we have picked up along the way cool looks good to me and um yeah i think that is oh no we've got to deliver the bag it's all the way over there um okay so what i'm going to do is i will head on over there we'll go and deliver this bag and then i will see you guys in a second okay so we are here and i just wanted to say that i'm pretty sure our travel form of the stag has changed like we have this like gold armor on our front legs and around our neck and i'm i don't know whether that's because of how we look as the druid 
like in normal form the way that I made her look or what it's very very different okay there's the bag of hair so Evanar was successful actually more to the point you were successful I cannot thank you enough druid but there is more that must be done to the leaves before they will serve as a curative for what ails this child oh okay so we've got bathed in light create a bathed concoction and we've got feeding Tyrannus Feed Tyrannus at Lake Falothim in Ashenvale, of course. Moon Priestess, hello. Deactivate the blue, green, and red moonstones. And the Sentinel uses a squad of Mace Stripo Sentinels to destroy three Ashenvale Wreckers and slay ten Horde invaders. Okay, right, let's do that first because they're here. So this is where we could possibly die. This is hard. They are so mean, although we seem to be pretty badass at the moment, <laughs> like I'm not going to lie. Um, you may also notice that um, some things on my bar have changed. Um, I found a few more um, powers that we hadn't actually used, so I've gone ahead and added those to the bar. Uh, tangling roots didn't automatically go on, I'm sure it's on there when I'm in my druid form. Yeah, there it is, look, and that one. But it wasn't when I was in my cat form. Um, probably because if I use it, it takes me out of cat form. But that's fine. I'd rather it was on there. Um, I also found removing corruption. Nullifies corrupting effects on friendly targets. Removing all curse and poison effects. And I also found revive. Returns the spirit to the body. Restoring a dead target to life. With 35% of maximum health and mana. Not castable in combat. So it's not like a basil battle resurrection. It's just like a after battle resurrection i guess you'd call it <laughs> um but yeah those are just a couple of things that i found in the spell book while i was looking around no nope, i don't want to attack him and then i want to make a macro and i need to do it really um but we'll look again we'll look at macros a different time i don't actually have any but i do want to make one and learn how to make one to um cast regrowth or a healing spell at the moment we've only got regrowth but um to cast that um and then instantly put us back into cat form because while we're casting that we come out of cat form which isn't great in the middle of battle uh, but you can set up a macro that will cast it and then do that i've received a report about you from some of my scouts in the forest but i know no idea how capable you are Thank you, Samkai. With what you've accomplished, the tide is turning. I've no doubt now that we'll root them by the end of the day. Uh, retrieve Pharaoh's Holy Hammer and the Purifier's Book. Okay, well, we'll go and do that in a second. We're going to go this way for now. And we need to stop these ones. So this is the green one, the green moonstone. And we're going to kill these thistle furs that are hanging around. Being naughty for whatever reason. <laughs> there we go. So we'll deactivate this one. That's that deactivated. And then we've got the red one in here. There we go that one done and then we've got the blue one over here hello sir come to deactivate the moonstone oh I deactivated it <laughs> okay so we'll make our way back and have this quest in okay and I've only just realized that we're actually level 25 now <laughs> Okay, so, thank you, Samkai. With the Moonstones of Ordlaran deactivated, we should not need to worry about any further incursions of Furblog here. However, my scouts have returned with disturbing news from the village. There's an imminent danger massing there. I wonder, might I entice you to carry a warning to Astrona for me? Go in peace. You haven't asked me to do it. But that is where I am going to leave the episode for today. When we get back on the next episode, we are definitely going to be trying to get into these before we uh, over-level for them and they go. We've opened, also opened up Gnome Regan, or Gnome Regan. Gnome Regan. So we'll do a few more dungeons, which will be really cool. I'm just worried that um, 
what will probably happen is when we're in the dungeons and we level up, when we come back out of the dungeons, we'll probably be too high a level to actually get anything from these quests. But that's okay, we'll just go to a new area because that's just one of the things that happens. So if you have enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment and subscribe to become a sparkle. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I will see you all very soon. Bye!